Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we've got an awesome video for you. We're going to show you five cool keyboard applications you need to have. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now when you download a, a keyboard application, guys, you got to do something a little different. you got to go into Settings and give it access. And, and, and I'll show you how to do that. Go to Open Settings and then go to General and then go to Keyboard. Just follow along. And you'll see a bunch of keyboards here now. At the top, you see keyboards. Tap on that. Now, the the uh, keyboard app you just downloaded will be down here under Add New Keyboard. So, you'll have to tap Add New Keyboard. And you'll see it listed here under Third Party Keyboards. Wherever you see it, tap on that. And you'll get a pop-up that says OK or Allow or whatever you need to go ahead and do whatever it tells you to do. Then, you need to come back in here find it up here at the top of the list or, or, or here on the screen and tap on it and I'm just going to use this for an example I need to toggle on allow full access and it'll sort of load up and then that's the end of it then you need to go back and find your keyboard uh, you have to hold down the globe on the keyboard application itself so I've opened up a note application here to use let's go in here now to find your keyboard and we're going to pretend we're looking for the one called minimum just go in here and tap and start we're going to start a new note so now what you need to do is hold your finger on the globe and you'll get this little pop up here and we're going to go up here and start with the one called minimum so we'll highlight that and just release our finger off of it and it'll go ahead and load up the minimum keyboard and you can see how cool it looks looks really nice and clean and not a lot of uh, clutter on this one that's why it's called uh, minimum and the minimum actually is a uh, one in the app store that don't have that big of a review on it it only has uh, it like 700 and some reviews but it has three and a half stars and the pro version is 399 I think uh, I'm not sure if you have to purchase it outright when you first download it or not this was one of the ones that I really like simply because of its minimalistic look. The next one is called Go Keyboard. Now this one here uh, is a free download but there's a pro version on it too and if I'm not mistaken I think it's $3.99. We can go back here to where my notes are and as you can see here it, it is a free download but you got a lot to choose from guys you can actually put a lot of themes on this and pro, pro version is $3.99 that look like so and it's just lots of different emojis you've got stickers you can add uh, if you want to add a different sticker uh, you can add different things in here if you want to go in here to the keyboard and add some new themes or get a new background or something like that you can do that just by tapping that button very very good way to, to customize your keyboard and Overall, guys, it's just a very cool, and you got on the top right-hand corner, if you, if you tap that little icon, you can make it a left-handed or a right-handed keyboard, and I'm going to keep it on left-handed since that's what I need. Uh, hit done. Now we go back in here, and if you want to type, you can type, and it predicts your words up there at the top, and it's just a very easy, very clean-looking keyboard, and I really like having it on my device. The next one we're going to look at is called the Google Keyboard, and this is my favorite out of all of them today. It is by far the most useful, most helpful uh, that you're going to see. So what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll activate it. And right here it is, and I've shown you how you can activate these, so we're going to skip over that part. But as you can see, you can customize it to have your own look, and I've gone ahead and done that, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. But what makes this keyboard so unique is the fact that you can search Google just by tapping that little G right there. If we want to know the weather for the, for the weather, just tap weather. 
you see it starts doing a search and then we can skim through here and find the weather we want and if we were wanting to send that to someone we can just tap that and it puts it automatically in our note or text message whatever it is we're looking for and hit send off and running how many times have you had to close out the uh, note you're tap you're typing or message go out and find what you needed to find the information for in Google copy and paste it and bring it back in and paste it in your note or your or your message and then send it off this eliminates every bit of that guys and it makes it so much faster so much easier to do and right down here at the bottom if you want to add some other things like uh, storm clouds stickers or something like that you can you can just tap that in there and copy and paste that in up here at the top uh, very cool little device I mean keyboard or app or whatever guys you can add gifts from right inside here all of it like I said is right inside the app already itself uh, you don't have to add anything but if you want to customize it like I was talking to you about uh, earlier all you have to do is go in here and go to settings down here under the globe scroll up to where it says settings and it'll open up the Google settings menu and from in here you find the themes tap themes and up here at the top you see I have that check mark that shows that I have the custom one here already installed but if you want to add a different one and I've got two already on this device so I'm going to use that one next so you know but right here in the middle is the default and when we first load the keyboard you just see it had the black one there's the white one for daytime there's, that's day and night is what I refer to those as but anyway now it should have that other keyboard activated but I didn't hit done so it probably uh, yep it reloaded it so this thing is is brilliantly smart and you see it makes uh, predictions for your words too just like all of the other keyboards do right up here at the top very very awesome one if you don't get any of them today be sure you get the Google keyboard because it's definitely worth it and this thing has got like over 50 million downloads in the Android store alone and I'm sure way in the millions on the Google or iOS store so I'm going to open the note up here and uh, see if we could get the Google one I looked at while ago it had like 4.8 stars and it had like uh, I don't know it was in the thousands I forget but anyway guys that's definitely one you want to grab and check that one out the next one we're going to look at here is called TouchPal and TouchPal is available in the App Store uh, you can get it as a free download and it has over 10,000 reviews 4.7 stars and here's what it looks like if we open it up go in here and turn it on touch pal this is what touch pal looks like and what I did I went into the themes and installed a keyboard that looks like the Mac so if you want to go to themes here you see right here you can scroll down to where you see the one that says there's one that says iOS and there was the Mario brother ones too I was going to show you that one but here's the one that says I love Mac but now I'll show you the one since it's already installed that looks like Mario Brothers and it has Mario sounds too so you definitely want to check this one out guys, okay, guys cool, last cool but definitely not least is one that I like too it's called Fancy Keyboard Pro like I said a free download it's got over 28,000 reviews and got 4.8 stars that's almost perfect guys for 28,000 reviews this is phenomenal you can see I've already got it installed on the device here and it looks phenomenal if you hit the little F right there it'll open up some of the themes and fonts and things like that that it has to offer and if you go in here and I need to, to go back to the here and choose normal fonts uh, I've got my fonts all screwed up so hit normal and now it's reloaded those here's some of the themes that I've already installed here's different settings you can enable you can swipe uh, you can do different stuff you can look through this as easily as I can read it to you guys but as you can see it's definitely a keyboard you want to check out and it has a uh, like little effects when you tap the keys and as you can see that that's just cool as hell be sure to check it out guys I know you'll enjoy it it's free 
Hope you enjoyed these guys. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Be sure to subscribe, guys. If you aren't a subscriber, we'd love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. I know you want to do it. And keep coming back.